Hi, we're the Royal Agricultural Society of New South Wales Youth Group. We're extremely passionate about rural youth and here are some of our members. We consist of a diverse group of young people from all over New South Wales, such as vets, farmers, stock and station agents and journalists. One of the events that we run at the Sydney Royal Easter Show are the Careers in Agriculture seminars. We have run four seminars and we've spoken to more than 500 youth, inspiring them to consider a career in agriculture. Another event is the Young Farmers Challenge, and that's a competition that demonstrates everyday skills that farmers use. Our final event on the Youth and Ag Day is the Catch Up at the Roll, which is a celebration for young rural youth. It also is a great networking opportunity for people with similar interests and likes, so we hope to see you there. You can find out about more than what we do by visiting us on Facebook at RAS Youth in Ag or following us on Twitter. And thanks for supporting us on Youth in Agriculture Day. So here at the Careers in Agriculture seminars, we're lucky to have Elders with us. Now Elders has a long and proud history here in Australia, and I'd like to introduce Mark from the HR department to tell us a little bit about that. So Mark, how long has Elders been here in Australia and operational? So Kirsty, Elders was established in 1839, so approximately 175 years we've been in business. A really strong, proud history of providing agricultural support to, to farmers in Australia. Fantastic. So what's the sort of thing that Elders actually does? So Elders has a, a range of, of services that it offers it to our agriculture industry. Um, in particular, we look at livestock and, and wool. Um, we also offer a range of professional services, so real estate and also banking, financial services as well. Now I understand you employ quite a lot of Australians. How many are you employing at the moment? So workforce numbers vary a little bit with our casual workforce as well, but somewhere in the vicinity of two to 3,000 um, Australians we employ. Um, across a range of, of branches, we have approximately 240 branches across Australia, um, right from the top of the, the north end of, of Queensland all the way down to Tasmania. Okay, fantastic. Now I do know that you have some fantastic traineeships that you offer. Can you tell us a little bit more about those traineeships? Absolutely. Um, Last year we reinvigorated our traineeship program. We offered 20 trainees, um, a range of opportunities across Australia and it was an 18 month um, program with a certificate four in agriculture as part of that. Um, it's proven really successful and we've had a number of people who have um, already accepted permanent roles within Elders. We're now looking at the second round of that and we're offering another seven or eight traineeships as well um, for another 18 months. Um, I help look after a network of around 20 stores in New South Wales on the eastern side from Cooma to Glen Innes um, and part of my role is to oversee those branches in terms of their um, financial outcomes and things like that. Okay, so on a day to day basis how many staff are you working with? Um, in those 20 branches we have around about 120 to 130 staff, um, mainly full time but with some casuals as well. Okay, and are you actively looking for new staff in that position as well? Yes, yeah, yeah, quite often we're looking for, again with 120 odd staff um, with turnover. So yeah, every month there's probably one or two positions we're looking for throughout our network with both livestock, wool and the financial services as well. And so those sort of roles, are they suited to people with a university qualification, a TAFE qualification? What sort of experience do they have going into those roles? Again, because, our, um, because it's such a wide area of roles, um, all those, so university and TAFE, and just a lot of practical experience we look after, so a lot of farm experience, practical experience in our industry. So now we have Sam here with us, who's a recent graduate and is now working with Elders. So Sam, I understand that you are a wool tech support assistant. Yep. What does that job involve? Um, day to day it's getting um, the market reports coming out to each client, um, talking to wool managers on a day to day basis, getting wool into sale, uh, also learning how to appraise and to value wool as well. So it's getting to cover a whole, whole range of things that's going on in the wool selling centre. So I'm here with Amy from the University of New England, more affectionately known as UNE. Now UNE is actually a rural university. Whereabouts is UNE, UNE located? So UNE is in Armidale, halfway between Sydney and Brisbane, about two hours from the coast in a really lovely regional location. So what's the advantage of being in a regional location if you want to study agriculture? So UNE uh, is pl ideally placed in, um, in Armidale because we're only about two hours from every different type of agricultural enterprise you can think of. So you can go two hours and do tropical crops on the coast or broad acre cropping out west and we've got lots of sheep 
wakeful um, leaf around as well. Okay. Now I do know that your numbers are, there's actually in terms of students on site and those that study external, there's quite a bit of a difference to that so it's a real personal university feeling and experience. Can you tell me a little bit more about the numbers of those studying? Yeah, so we have only approximately 14, uh, 4,000 um, students on campus studying. Um, and the majority of our students are over 16,000 actually studied by distance education. So what that means is that when you come to UNE, you, your class sizes are a lot smaller than if you went to a major metropolitan university. Mm -hmm. So that means you get to know your lecturers, you get to know the people that you're studying with, which makes it a, a whole lot more personal experience. Fantastic. Now what are some of the courses that you can take at UNE if you're interested in agriculture? Yeah, so we have a wide range of courses in agriculture ranging from um, our standout degree which is a Bachelor of Rural Science, one of the oldest ag science degrees around and there's lots of in alumni that are hold really important agricultural positions um, around Australia and the world. We also have a three year Bachelor of Ag um, animal science degree which is quite new at UNE and then we have courses in agribusiness as well so we have a double degree in a Bachelor of Ag, Bachelor of Business but also um, Ag Resource Economics and uh, UNE is also the only university that has a Bachelor of Ag, Bachelor of Law double degree. So today we're talking all things fibre careers and fibre is, is basically what we use to, to clothe all of us and a really important part of the agricultural industry here in Australia is the cotton industry. So what do you love about the cotton industry? Uh, the cotton industry, um, I suppose the people in it's um, one thing that's fantastic but also um, there's a fair bit of pride around producing um, fibre that, that's, that you know is going to clothe people around the world. And what's a piece of clothing that I don't, I don't think many people associate with cotton, but it would have to be the jeans we wear, right? Yeah, there's a lot of people that I'm sure would have no idea where they come from, but, um, but yeah, no, they're, they're definitely an everyday product that I'm sure everyone owns a pair of. So one thing that some people might think is that if you're from the city, that it would be very hard for you to get a job on a farm. But is that really the truth? No, um, the agricultural industry in general and, and the cotton industry are screaming for, for new people and especially Australian labour because we're, we have been in the past filling jobs with, with seasonal or, 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 um, or overseas, with overseas labour and that, that's creating a, a fair problem in terms of we're not educating young Australians who are going to stay around in the industry. Um, so we are really looking for, for young people to, to enter the industry and and and, and it doesn't matter where you're from, I think as long as you're willing to learn, people are very willing to take you up and give you the time and, and to develop you and, and so you, you will have a, yeah, have a very good career in agriculture if, if, you, if you dare to take a step. So the University of Western Sydney also offers some options for those wishing to study agriculture. And I'm here with Danny. So Danny, what are some of the options at the University of Western Sydney for agriculture? We have a few options. The main one would be the Bachelor of Natural Science, uh, Sustainable Agriculture and Food Security. And that's mostly about the interconnections of agriculture and food security and how to do it sustainably. Uh, then we have other options like the Bachelor of Natural Science, Animal Science, Zoology, um, Food Security, things like that. So the campus, you have one out in Western Sydney. Yep. Uh, so what's campus like for the University of Western Sydney students? We actually have a number of campuses. The main one for agriculture and uh, food science and things like that is Hawkesbury. So that's one of our more rural campuses. It's our largest campus and it's got lots of animals and it's got a very fun vibe. And does the University of Western Sydney have open days and things like that where people yep. can go and find out more? We do, but it's located on our Parramatta campus and it's uh, in September or August usually. So something that the agricultural industry was really missing was a central spot where teachers and students could find out more about careers available in agriculture. And I'm really excited to now say that there is a new website, Career Harvest, and we're lucky to have here Dave from Career Harvest here to talk to us about that site. What's the basis of the site and, and what does it aim to do? Look, it's really a, a hub, I guess, to direct students and career counsellors towards careers in agriculture and the broader food and fibre industries and really show them what opportunities are out there and I guess the breadth of opportunities are available. And the fantastic thing is that it was developed originally by the Australian Council of Deans of Agriculture, so it's really got some credibility behind it, doesn't it? Indeed, I mean, the, um, the Council of Deans of Agriculture all got together and mapped out, I guess, really the industry and, and areas that they saw, um, I guess, a greater need um, and brought a, a few external parties on board to help get it off the ground and um, 
It's been pretty exciting. It launched in December and it's had a fantastic response. Fantastic. So just explain to me a little bit about the site. So you click onto the site mm -hmm. and then where do you go from there? Well it really I guess breaks down different career opportunities that are available. Um, so you've got opportunities be it in banking, IT, um, you know on the environmental side, the scientific side and students can really I guess check whichever boxes uh, take their interest and from there we'll show different options and um, I guess courses available and career paths for them to then pursue and find out uh, careers that, um, or rather the, the uh, academic pursuits that have to take their um, university degrees or TAFE courses to then get into those sort of careers. So one of the things I really love about the site is that you can start with just a broad interest that you know you're interested in IT, mm. that you'd like to go to university, click on search and it brings up a wide range of career options there. Where did that, all of that information come from then? Who, who gave you that information? I guess, look, it's more from a broader understanding of the industry. Um, and really, you know, a lot of it's about trying to change the perception of what um, agriculture is and how it's viewed. Um, and people understanding that it's not just someone sitting on a tractor or um, some older preconceived ideas. It really is a broad industry um, you know, that's both regional and, and based in metropolitan areas. Mm. So then the site actually shows you individual tasks on a day-to-day -day basis and then actually the pathways through, so be it TAFE or University, is that Yeah, correct? indeed, exactly. And, uh, and I think as well shows you other um, related types of careers uh, and, and areas in which certain careers can go and, and what jobs that might lead to. Um, so I guess really gives a, a fairly thorough uh, overview on, on what is available and what people can do. So the Career Harvest site will take you to a range of careers and one of those is an agribusiness analyst. And I've got Kirsty here today from NAB who is actually now in that role. So Kirsty, how did you get into that role? Um, so basically I applied on the graduate program from NAB and um, was directed that way after um, doing an agricultural economics degree at Sydney Uni and the graduate program is great so they take you through the different stages of applying, there's different interview levels and um, you basically work your way to be applied, to be accepted. So when you were at high school did you ever think you would have a career in agriculture? No, um, I'm from a rural background so there was always that in the background but um, never thought I'd go down this path. Um, the opportunity arose at uni um, when I um, enrolled in a Bachelor of Agricultural Economics, just the careers that are available once you graduate from that is just huge, you know, there's so many opportunities um, coming out of that degree. So. There really are so many opportunities and I guess within an organisation like NAB, there's huge room for development, so where could you go from oh, here? Definitely, so you start with what I do now, which is an analyst, so you work on a day-to-day day to day basis with a manager and just looking out after a portfolio of clients but you can work your way up um, to be an actual manager yourself or you can go into different areas of the bank and also travel all so many locations in Australia. I think NAB's spread over 110 locations in Australia so there's huge potential to move around and work in remote areas. I'm based in the city now which is great but there's also that opportunity to, to broaden your horizon a bit. So. So continuing along the fibre theme that we've been talking and also career harvest and, and some of the roles that it will show you up on the site, a crucial role in agriculture is that of an agronomist. And we're really lucky to have here today Chris, who is an agronomist with Auscott. So can you tell me a little bit about Auscott? Yeah, Auscott's a uh, vertically integrated uh, cotton and grain uh, farm in Australia. Um, we've got farming operations in uh, Warren, Moree and, and Narrabri. Uh, but we also have gins, cotton gins in, uh, at those three locations and, and as also at uh, Trangy. Um, so you're an agronomist? That's right. So how did you get to being an agronomist? What sort of course did you have to do at university? Yeah, I, I left uh, year 12 and I didn't get the uh, entry into university that I wanted. Um, so I, I did the certificate three and four in agriculture at, at University of Queensland at Gatton. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I, once I was in the system, I was able to upgrade and get into a uh, degree, a Bachelor of Ag Science and major in Rural Management. Um, got through there um, and on the third year I sort of defer, uh, came out, got into, got into Oscott as a farmhand and was given the position as a trainee agronomist um, and worked my way through there. And now I've also uh, undertaken the Diploma of Ag at uh, UNE, doing the Cotton and Grains course. Fantastic. So, 